Good morning, Dominique. It's Friday! And, um, in the past week I got my first ever booty call, but more on that in a minute. First off, let's recap the past two weeks, shall we? Earlier this week, I tripped up the stairs. Again. And got the worst scratch ever. I tried cheating on my Spanish oral exam by writing some helpful hints on my arm. But I got too paranoid and virtuous and I kept my coat on the entire time. A former classmate of ours gave an impromptu speech in public speaking in which he told the entire class that he had had a pregnancy scare recently. Class. Now I will admit, I did feel bad for you for the drunk people outside of your window until this past Sunday morning. It was midnight and I had an 8 a.m. the next morning so I was trying to get some much needed rest. All of a sudden, my roommate and I hear one scream, and it sounded like someone got stabbed. And then we heard multiple screams for over a minute. We're standing at the door trying to figure out whether we should go check it out or stay inside our rooms because who knows if there's a murderer on the loose. This girl was screaming that she was going to die and that she wanted the door to be shut. And we were quite frightened that there was a rapist on the loose. The cops and the ambulance were called and there was this big commotion outside in the hallway for over an hour. No one's supposed to know what happened, but the girl who was screaming posted on Facebook what was really going on. She failed an online test for diabetes and subsequently ran out in the hall and started screaming like someone was stabbing her over and over again. So next time you WebMD yourself and see that you might possibly have diabetes, just, just scream at the top of your lungs and think... Just... Last week, my roommate and I went to dinner with one of our mutual friends and a guy that she kind of had an... an eye for. Well, it turns out that the guy was extremely awkward. We did stay there and talk for an hour and a half, but he... he told the worst stories ever about how he fell asleep in class and... That's the story. He fell asleep in class. As we went to leave, he handed my roommate something and I figured maybe he is a young entrepreneur. Who knows why he would be handing out these business cards. But then he handed me one. Professional ladies man, if you can see that under his last name. Professional ladies man. And on the back, the time, anytime, baby. And I will never forget this as long as I live. I looked down at the card and asked, how much did this cost? And he looked back and said, it was worth it. A couple of days later, I was feeling really hyper and I was trying to find someone to hang out with. So I sarcastically and stupidly called him and he, he already had plans. He was going dancing. Later did I find out it was ballroom dancing, but um, I thought that was the end of it. I thought he wasn't going to call back or ever speak to me again because I thought he was truthfully offended by um, me calling him. <laughs> but no, he did call back at 1.30 Sunday morning when I was home, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Hey, here she's going to come over. I guess not. Well, I'm the professional ladies, man. You want to come over? You want to hang out? You should call me, all right? I didn't reply, but then he called back last night, and um, it's safe to say that I, I don't think he's very professional or a ladies' man. Hey, this is my professional ladies' man. You call my, you call my number, and I, and I called you back, but I am just doing a follow-up call to set up the actual appointment, so... If you don't know my number, my number, just call me and I will be very professional about it and we will set up an appointment and we will have a very nice time. Thank you. Bye. Dominique, what's the craziest, absolutely, like, top my story crazy? What's the craziest thing that's happened to you this semester so far? Thanks for tuning in here at the Looney Bin and Dominique, I'll see you next week. Sloths. Duh. Good morning, Dominique. It's Friday! And, um, this week I forgot my line. <laughs> oh, blah, blah, blah.